Shadow, and this month on Realty Savvy, let's talk about how to find a good realtor. So you're about to embark on one of the largest purchases of your life. Where do you start? Well, the first thing you want to do is hook up with a reputable, professional, and licensed realtor. Awesome. So where do you start? Start asking around for recommendations from friends and family who have purchased or sold recently. Remember to ask exactly why they recommend this particular realtor as your criteria may not match theirs. Next, if you enjoy going to open houses, you may want to strike up a conversation with the hosting realtor. This realtor may or may not be the actual listing agent, but if you get along with this person and you have a connection with them, you may feel that this person is the right fit for you. Start following realtors who are prolific on social media and see what they have to say. Check out their blog and website. Is the website just a generic template with buttons that lead to nowhere? Maybe you need to look elsewhere. Look in the local papers and big papers to see who's advertising properties for sale or their services and see if there are a few names that stand out. Be careful though, just because they advertise doesn't mean they're the right fit for you. I do not recommend using a service that collects your personal data and then sells it to any realtor willing to pay for the lead. You don't know what you're getting, who you're getting, and what their reputation is. They claim to use top producers, which statistically in the Toronto Real Estate Board is someone who does three deals a year. My opinion, that realtor's not adequate. So now it's interview time. You have a few names on your list. How to start conducting interviews. Call, write, or text these agents and let them know you're beginning your search for a realtor. How does this realtor respond? Do they offer information on the phone? Do they just jump into questions about what you want to buy or sell? Or do they request a meeting? More experienced realtors will want to sit down in a calm, controlled environment to discuss the process, your expectations and their expectations, the paperwork required, and everything you need to know before you get rolling and offer you a package of information to keep. If that happens, you know you've hit the jackpot. This type of realtor is a valuable source of information and knows the ins and outs so well that they won't do business any other way. During the interview, it's great to have a checklist of questions you'd like to ask, but don't forget to watch and listen. A savvy realtor will take the conversation a different direction than you might be expecting, and you just might miss some important nuances and information that didn't make it to your own checklist, so don't fall into that trap. You want to look for someone who's hardworking because they have their finger on the pulse of the market. Savvy because knowledge is very important. Professional because there are ethics you need us to follow. You want to make sure they're using technology to your advantage and communicating to you in a language you understand and feel comfortable with. You should come out of the meeting feeling like you're in good hands and you know what's in it for you if you should hire that realtor. This is Sandrina Maddo. Thanks for listening. And remember to join me again next month for another Realty Savvy podcast right here in Focal Point E-News.